So, I'm having a chat with Blanks. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. And uh, first things first, uh, you have a new single out called What You Do To Me. What can you tell us about the single? Um, it's, it's one of my favorite songs I've released so far. I, <laughs> I wanted to write a song which felt like falling in love, so I had this like, idea of a verse that builds up to a chorus which feels like very climactic. Um, and I just, I put all my favorite songs in this synth. I put all my favorite drum songs in this synth. And I think it turned out great to me. If I, if I listen to it, the chorus, when it hits, it actually feels like you kind of get like hit in the chest with all the feelings of love. So I feel like I kind of succeeded my goal. And uh, I'm just really happy with, the, with how it turned out. And I, I got so many great responses so far. So yeah, actually uh, really happy with it. Good. Excellent. And uh, you released an album last year of a, a collection of uh, your favorite songs. Um, are we now gearing up towards another release, do you think? Uh, I think so, yeah. I'm actually uh, behind the scenes working on like songs which could possibly turn into an album. So that is really exciting and also really challenging. It's like the biggest thing I've ever done. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. And... Uh, Looking to, to the future, do you think you're going to continue along the same path music-wise, or do you think you might try different things to see if they work with you and your music? Um, I just want to do what feels good. So I'm definitely open to trying new things, and I always love to work with other people behind the scenes, songwriters and producers. So when, whenever I like stumble upon something accidentally, but it feels right for blanks, but sounds a little bit different, yeah, I would definitely experiment with, like, different sounds but for now I feel like I kind of like got got a hold of my my sound a little bit also for the album I feel like I'm kind of like finding what I want the album album to sound like sonic wise so um for now I feel like I kind of like have one style but yeah I could definitely Mm. branch out or change that in the future Yes, excellent. And uh, your fan base has been growing quite rapidly recently with millions of views and subscribers on YouTube and, and Spotify. How, how is that for you? It's crazy, man, especially during the pandemic because there's so many people watching. So, for example, you see like half a million people have watched this video, but you just you can't possibly comprehend how many people that are. So mm. I walk down the street here and people are watching from all over the world, so I don't get recognized all the time. So I, I feel like I have, a, I have a really normal life. And then whenever I, like, go somewhere where people are who know me, all of a sudden they're like, hey, you're blank, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what is happening? How is this possible? And it feels so weird and, it, and so cool at the same time. Yeah, I can, I, I bet. Um, and we're obviously in the middle of a, a pandemic at the moment. How has it affected you and how has it affected the music? Um, I would say besides touring, which affected me negatively, of course, it, it was actually not too bad for me. I had, the, I, had the, I had the luck that I could go back to doing my thing online, which I already did. So the YouTube and Spotify, which is a very, very, uh, very lucky position I'm in. And I feel like I could go back to the craft. So I spent a lot of time in the studio last year. I still do. And, um, I realized that I really like that, and I would also like to uh, experiment with writing and producing for other people. So I'm I'm actually doing that a little bit more right now, and um, uh, I feel like I could I could I, the, the, during the pandemic I had the time to like take a step back, reflect on what I was doing, and like steer a little bit into the right direction, which I feel like matches better with what I what I personally really love doing, which is making music in the studio. So actually, it has been pretty good. Good. Excellent. And uh, looking to being on tour at, at some point, I'm sure, after the, uh, the yeah. pandemic is, is over and done with, what, what are the plans kind of circulating at the moment for you? Uh, so it's, right now it's rescheduling, 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 whatever <laughs> was planned. But um, for me, I would love to do, whenever there is like an album coming out, I would love to do Europe and the U.S., maybe even Asia a little bit. Um, mm. Kind of like a, a, a real world tour, because when the pandemic started, I was about to do that, but we had to postpone everything. So I actually can't wait to get my shot again <laughs> with doing that. That would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and is there anywhere that you haven't toured before that you, you do want to get to at some point? I would love to go to Australia. 
I work mm. with uh, Shepherd, which is a band from Australia, on, mm-hmm. on a song, and the vibe from the people there is just so good. And I, I whenever I see pictures and stuff like that, I feel like I, I really need to go there someday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, they have an album out now, so you never know. You could be on their talk soon. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, Simon, it's been great having a uh, having a catch up with you. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, man. <laughs>